Hello, I'm Kurt Hans with Van Meter, and today we're going to show you how to set up the palletizing system from B Robox in just uh, under five minutes. The, the pallet solution from B Robox, it's a unique solution in the market in that it uh, allows to replace manual palletizing uh, without having to know anything about robot programming. You simply roll it into position, um, enter your box dimensions, pallet size, and um, hit start and off you go. The first step in setting up the B-Row box is simply roll it in position. It's on casters, it's mobile, it's easy to do. Once in position, simply lock the casters in place. We simply need to apply power, supply it air. So now as we finish waiting for the robot to boot up, we can put our pallet in position and start to program our box dimensions. So we get our pallet, locate it. So as we locate the pallet, we have sensors, limit switches to verify the pallet's in position, and we won't be able to palletize unless the pallet's detected. And you can see that with the green indicator on the B Robox unit. A quick indicator to me that the robot controller is finished booting up is we have a message indicating the servo is off, which tells me it's communicating, but we simply need to reset and enable the robot itself. We can simply hit reset and then the robot servo motors will engage, which will get a status change from the red to blue and white. So now we have to program in their box and pallet dimensions so we can start to palletize. Come over to the HMI and we create a new product. And we're gonna change it from metric to English units. Enter in the box dimensions, which in our case are 18 inches by 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And basically I have empty boxes so I've only got two pounds. And I'm gonna save this as demo. So going forward we'll always have that um, recipe available to us. I advance to the next screen. And here I'm just using a standard 40 by 40, 48 by 40 inch pallet. And it's a little bit shorter than that. It's probably more like five inches. And I can have where there's a, the boxes can actually overhang the pallet or not, or have gaps. I'm saying no gaps, no overhang. And then the system can automatically generate different pallet patterns. So these are various patterns that I could palletize. So I'm going to take the default, the recommended layout, and I simply hit it twice. And now I have a what the palletizing system will put out. Now I could add additional layers if I choose, but I've only got enough boxes to do the three, so I'll do that. So now I can save this. So now I have a saved um, product, and so it shows up in my list. And now I have to activate it to make it the active product. So I can activate. So now I'm ready to go. Now that we have our box size program, the pallet pattern generated, all we have to do is hit start. The robot goes into position to pick a box. And we start feeding our boxes. It shows the progression that we finished one layer, we're on box. We've done zero boxes on the second layer, so it keeps track of where that's at. The conveyor is angled, so the boxes always get located in the same corner for picking. If for some reason one of the boxes is damaged, you need to remove it, we can simply take it out. We haven't got two, we only have one that's been completed. And now we, we can resume and it'll palletize the next one in that same position. Now we have our completed pallet. It's ready to go. We can see by the yellow flashing light that we, the pallet is done and ready to be taken away. So now that the pallet is complete, if this pallet load is removed and a new pallet put in its place, the system will simply restart palletizing like it was before. So today we were simply palletizing on the left, but if we want, we could have enabled the right. 
And if a pallet were there, when it was finished with one, it would then move over to the other. Just a few simple steps. You can be up and palletizing in minutes without any knowledge of robot programming. If you have any questions about uh, B Robox, please reach out to your Van Meter account manager or myself or Zach Dotson in Minnesota, and we'd be happy to help.